So Trump uh, visited the Vatican. Visited the Vatican. That's exciting. It's one of the few places on Earth with more old men than his cabinet. <laughs> if you remember, back during the campaign, Trump butted heads, you know, with the Pope over immigration. So people were expecting this first meeting to be a bit tense. And based on this picture, it was. I was wrong. I was wrong. There is no God. <laughs> I, I don't know why they call him the joyful pope. Maybe this is the way he acts when he meets world leaders. Jimmy, do we have a photo of him with anybody else? Ah, uh, I had the time of my life and never felt this way before. Afterwards, when asked for his impression of the Pope, Trump said, he is something. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Hard to argue with that. The Pope is indeed something. As Jesus himself said, blessed are the vague, for they shall inherit, you know, stuff. <laughs> blessed. Uh, as is ceremonial, as is usual when you meet a world leader, there's a, they exchange gifts, the two men exchange gifts. The Pope gave Trump a copy of his 2017 peace message and his encyclical on climate change, Laudato Si. And after receiving the gifts, Trump replied, well, I'll be reading them. <laughs> well, no, you won't. <laughs> Mike Pence, I think I know what you're getting for Christmas. <laughs> Re-gift! But the best part of the visit happened at the end when the Pope threw a little shade at Trump's physique. Francis turned to the First Lady and said, what do you give him to eat? Potica? <laughs> Which is a high-calorie pastry served in Slovenia. <laughs> oh, snap! The Pope! What do you feed him? Potica? <laughs> the Pope just called the President chubby. I cannot believe that the infallible vicar of Christ just played the dozens on our president. <laughs> For more, please welcome, live via satellite in Rome, cartoon Pope Francis. Right, hello. Hello. Your, uh, hello. your cartoon holiness, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Steve. So, do you regret making that crack about Trump's weight? Yes, my child, because although we may not love his actions, we must love the sinner almost as much as the sinner loves the dinner. Ha <laughs> ha! Nailed him! Okay, but Pope, cartoon Pope, you, you, you're known for your compassion and your kindness. Why are you making fun of him? You are right, Stephen. Jesus taught us to love, and there's a lot of him to love. Am I right, folks? <laughs> yes, I'm always right. I'm the Pope. Okay, is it out of your system now? Uh, what, what else did you do with Trump on this visit? I gave him a tour of the Vatican catacombs. Oh, really? That's nice. But when Trump entered it, it became the Vatican catacombs. Oh! <laughs> wait, wait. Oh! What? What just happened to your voice? They call me Francis Dice Pope. Oh! Say, Stephen, you know why Trump loves Vladimir Putin? Because he's always putting food in his face. Ow! Oh! He's rushing to the buffet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, th these, these are beginning to stretch. You mean like Trump's pants? Stretcheroo. Oh! Hickory dickory dope. Trump just got burned by the Pope. Oh! Cartoon Pope, everybody. We got a great show for you tonight.